CMCS and today I have a video for you guys on how to assemble your CMP18. Basically it's a kit that allows you to kind of install and let you use the folding butt stuff. Let you fold this uh, left or right, let you convert it into a pretty cool setup right here. Allow you to use all kind of um, accessory that you have or if you're going to upgrade to it, get longer barrel. This is actually a 14 inch barrel with a suppressor and also remote line. So let's get started. So when you get your kit, basically you're getting this uh, buttstock and the body. And if you're getting a full kit that comes with the different uh, accessory to it, you're gonna have to install it yourself. When we first get for you, it's gonna get a pistol with a fully factory sealed foam tip man. We kind of do that so that way you can undo what you just, just assemble and allow you kind of return or send back to Tipman if you need it to have any warranty service to it, you need to be able to uh, assemble and disassemble it. All right, so let's get started. So when you get your body on your Tipman right here, but the first thing you have to do is you're gonna loosen this little guy up. You're gonna have this screw right here, open it out. Just the top three. Um, and if you're doing the uh, the remote line aspect, a lot of you have to do remote line, you can upgrade to like this one right here. You're gonna have to uh, take out the whole body. So this one has a remote line. You're gonna have to take out the whole body assembly right there. And there are a lot of video out there, and, the, and, um, and Tipman also have them too. We're not gonna make one, so I'm not gonna cover that aspect. Just gonna do the body only, so that way you know how to work on it, okay? So once you get the screw out, actually you can just go into the side, um, thread a little bit, pull it out, safety screws. You don't wanna lose them because uh, if you ever want to do any um, assemble back to it for warranty service or having to get the pistol set up again, you wanna keep these screws and for other type of use, just in case you need a nut or anything else. All right, so once you have that out, see so you have your three screws right there all set up. So your body also come with three screws as well. See the nut on the top, and then the three screw right there on the bottom there. You have to do the same, you take these out. We can assemble them for you so you know where they belong. Plus you can see that they're, they're there and you don't want to lose them. Normally we put them in the bag, but this time around when we build them, we just put in a, uh, on the body for you. Uh, watch out too. They might again. These they're on the press onto a plastic polymer body. It may fall out. They use the same nut here, so you need one. You can use your original one. Same size and everything. Same thread. In the bottom, you see the little track right there in the middle. Put it in. Slide in forward. Oh, another one that you can do is um, put it in. Slide forward, and then from there. All right. Close it up. Put it in. All right, and then just set it down. Then you want to kind of uh, put the screw in first and then finger tight it and make sure that they're all aligned and grab onto the nut um, before you kind of torque it down a little bit. So I have two in the top and the front, usually I do it last. The, the front a little bit shorter, it seems like shorter, but once you kind of, kind of crank it down, it will go right through the other side. A little bit short in my opinion, but it will work perfectly for you there. So right there, tighten it down a little bit. Not too much. These are uh, screws just to keep the body into place. Not no really compression or force on them, so you don't have to worry too much about them. So that's pretty much it. Now you're all ready to go. So the butt stock allow you to do left or right hand side. So right here, if you look at this right now, you can. So loosen this out a little. This is use a one eighth wrench, the same wrench you use on the body. Goes in, lock into place, and then secure it down. All right, with this now you can fold your buttstock from the bottom in like that and you pull your open. So this is the, the right side open, which if you look at your thumb, you depress down. You don't want to be fo forcing it, okay? You might break the joint here if you put too much force behind it. That's why there's a hinge. You pull it down. Of course, it's strong enough, but uh, you put enough torque behind it, anything can break. All right, so I'm going to show you really quick on the opposite side. This way you don't have to switch from left to right. All right, the switch, there's a little screw right behind here. It use a 316 wrench. You loosen it out, all you have to do is kind of switch it over to the, to the other side. And that's done. And now you just kind of put it back. All right, just secure it down. And that's pretty much it. It's really simple. And here you can kind of fold down, open it up, 
And of course, again, like I said, if, if you want a left folding, you push, push your thumb on the top, you hit a hinge, move, and that's it, open, and you're all set. All right, now I'm gonna show real quick on installing the, installing your, um, your barrel. Or oh, one thing to note, um, the body kind of cover up the front a little bit here. So if you want to get your CO2 out, it's a little bit harder to, uh, to grab onto it. Not like, it doesn't have a full grip onto it, half a grip. You can assist that with your wrench. There's a little hole that built into your front cover. Stick it in there, turn, ro rotate that. It lets you open and close pretty easily. All right, now the barrel. So if you're getting the uh, cobalt version of the CMP18 kit, your barrel comes is 14 inches long. And this one right here, I'm gonna show really quick on how to clock it together. Uh, there are other videos that are made, but give you kind of full how to assemble it. So this version here has two options. Option number one is you can attach it, recess. In other words, it goes in this way, and it makes your barrel to be appear shorter than it looks, okay? right there um or if you want to make it a little bit longer and make it appear like a sniper setup you can flip your barrel around and make it longer like this so depends on you what to, how how you want to set it up it's just all preference wise right i cannot talk it down how far it goes but can basically kind of show you how that's done you can flip it around add a little vertical grip like this right here and it, it will look beautiful, depends on how you want it. Another one I'm gonna show really quick here too is how to align it. So like I said, there are other videos out that we made, but this one I'm gonna show real quick how to align so that way you don't have to go to, uh, to watch two videos. So you pop this cap out and this little um, set screw right here at the bottom here. This allow you to get, you loosen this out and this adapter can rotate. It can also turn front or back. Um, you can see turning this way, it recesses a little bit. They give you about an inch adjustment. You're turning this way and there's no adjustment. And then inside here too, you also have about an inch of adjustment in and out. It depends on where you set this adapter, which allows you to kind of set the screw in right here. So what you want to do is you want to go put it in like this, right? Until it stops nice and tight. And then you loosen up the, the, the screw at the bottom to align itself directly there and then secure it down. Once that's done, you take both components off together. And then you put it back to the cat right here like that. And then you put your, your long screw back on. Keep in mind, this is made, the screw made of aluminum. So you wanna be somewhat gentle with it. Otherwise you will, um, destroy the thread in front of you. Use the same thing, use a 1 8 hex wrench, secure it down right here. Until it stops, don't over torque it. And from there, you can either go this way, depending on your setup, or this way, depending on your setup. But you gotta clock it in. All right, guys, any questions, comment, concern about the CMP18 kit, uh, the full bill, everything we have, visit our website, mcsus.com, so that we can assist you. Thanks for watching. Let's see how it goes. Keep on shooting great. If you guys have any question, come concern about the box, make go to our website, mcsus.com.